Um, we'll talk about all, all this, mayhem. all this mayhem, mm. which is a documentary um, about the Australian skateboarding brothers Ben and Tuss Pappas. So they started out in Melbourne and run down suburbs of Melbourne back in the nineties, um, and they moved to California and had huge success in the skateboarding world. Were ranked number one and two in the world, hugely successful on the circuit. Maybe a little controversial because they had this very Aussie attitude. The skateboarding circuit was full of Americans, but they were Aussies who frankly didn't really give a damn. And I think that wound a few people up. Certainly Tony Hawk didn't particularly like them. Um, but anyway, very successful, making a lot of cash. Then it all goes wrong uh, for a variety of reasons, but mainly because of drugs. So really what you've got here is a film about a rise and a fall about the perils of fame. So here's a clip. This is from All This Mayhem. This starts with an old friend of the Pappas brothers reminiscing about when he first met them. I was down at a Paran one day. It was probably like 11 or 12. And these kids padded up and just started from the bottom. It looked like they've never even stepped on a board before. They just got on the ramp and started pumping, going quarter of the way up, halfway up the ramp. You could see they were pretty hard, you know. And I found out they're called Ben and Tuss. It certainly helped by the fact that these guys and their friends pretty much filmed everything um, ever yeah. since they were young kids. Um, and actually, I think it's got the same editor and certainly the same producer as Senna, which again was another film that had a huge amount of archive footage. Yeah. Um, and that really helps things um, because... We always laugh when we talk about found footage movies and saying, really, would people just keep their video camera on this much? Well, yeah. actually, these guys seem to do that because there's an awful lot of archive footage. And I think that really helps. And it's a good story. It's not perhaps the most original story, but it's an interesting one. I think for me, the problem um, was, and uh, this is going back to Senna, and, and the poster certainly talks about Senna quite a lot because of the, the uh, similar crew on it, Um it doesn't feel anything more than just a good story. And what I mean by that is Senna was a good story, but it also seemed to hint at something more, something spiritual almost, something beyond motor racing. And I think this is a lot more straightforward, interesting, and certainly the, uh, the, the publicity, the posters, they're trying not to sell it as a purely skateboarding movie. Uh, but ultimately, it is a lot about skateboarding and it's a rise and a fall, and that's great, but there's nothing that much more about it than that, I don't think. I think it shows a darker side than you've seen in previous skateboarding um, sort of documentaries, not in terms of the skateboarding films, but in terms yeah. of docs like Dogtown and Zed Boys and things like that. Yeah, I think yeah. it's, it kind of shows you that sort of, you know, that's that. I mean, the, the age that these kids were and the drugs they were taking in terms of, you know, these, they, they arrived in the States, they went from... Australia to the States when they were 16 years old, you know, without any parents, without knowing anyone to enter this world sort of thing. And and the, I love the kind of um, the competitiveness between like uh, Tony, uh, Tony Hawk and yeah, all that yeah. kind of thing as well. It's really, it's really fascinating. I this, think for me, that's the slight difference that this has is that kind of that dark. And I think they hark and pull on that, whole, I guess, kind of their, their, where they grew up and that kind of having an influence on the path they took and, and how they took that path, I think. There's, well. there's some great moments in it and some great insight in it. For me, I know I think perhaps because of the way it's put together, perhaps not just quite as stylish as some other documentaries, it is an interesting story. It's a good story, but it just never quite goes beyond that. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we should give, you know say, well done, you've yeah. made an interesting movie. But I think in terms of classics, I'm not sure it then goes into that realm, which certainly other documentaries such as Senna, you know, would be classed as a classic.